Okay, so we have uh, a very simple trigonometric limit that we're going to answer in this case. So what is necessary for you to know is uh, the identity that deals with uh, the limit where x is approaching zero in a cosine function. So the basic idea is if you have the limit as x gets to approach zero, you need to have one minus cosine of x over x. So it is not necessarily that it's supposed to be x. The important part is this should be equal to the denominator. So we'd have to express what we've been given in this very form. So I'll move that a bit down. And then we try to change what we have to that form. Okay, so in the next step, what I want to see is I want this 2x to be the same with what? The 8x. Remember that I can change what is attached to a function, a trig function. I can only change something that is as free as the denominator there because there is no a function attached to it. You can't multiply this function by 2 and then this will change. No, it will not change. If you multiply it, it will only be the coefficient, but we can change the denominator, right? So we can multiply the denominator by a 4. Now, the way the rule is, uh, you don't have to change the function. Whatever you do to the denominator should be done to the numerator as well. So we'll have to multiply everything by a 4, right? So on the next step, you observe that we we'll have the limit as x gets to approach 0. You have 1 minus cosine 8x over... So 2x by 4 will now also be 8x. Now, notice that we are still remaining with a 4, right? So that 4 can become the coefficient of the limit. So you have a 4, and then you have the limit as x approach 0. So you now have 1 minus cosine 8x over what? 8x. So now, this part of the limit where you have the cosine, since the numerator is... What is attached to the cosine function is the same as the denominator. At this point, we're able to substitute the identity. So I hope what I wrote at first was okay. But the basic understanding is this is equal to a zero, right? So we we'll end up having... So we we'll have 4 multiplied by 0, which is equivalent to a zero. So that is how you simplify that limit. It's just understanding that when you have 1 minus... 1 minus cosine of x over x as the limit approaches uh, 0. The basic understanding that is equal to a 0. Okay. So you can check out the other video for about the sign and the term limits.